Welcome to Kim headquarters here today. I want them to get to know you. I know that sounds funny because you've been on national, you know, television all I these know. years, but just to I know. What is going to be different this time? I think we just evolved. You know, we're all growing up and um, the kids are, you know, a decade and a half older and this is a new chapter. I loved being famous. Some people are made for it better than others. I would be lying if I said I didn't feel like I could handle it and if I didn't feel like I was made for it. The Kardashian family has lived in the spotlight nearly their entire lives creating businesses and a reality television empire spanning more than a decade. Now, just a year after Keeping Up with the Kardashians went dark, the famous family launching a new series on Hulu, The Kardashians. We've had so much time off. We've kind of gone into our own worlds. I think that this season's really different. How so? I feel like it's more about our individual lives. I think one thing that has always been fascinating about Kim Kardashian has been her love life. And I think there's nothing more fascinating than what she's experiencing right now. Kim and Kanye together were such a perfect storm of genius and madness and modernity. Kanye brought Kim Kardashian to a whole new level because he was, in his own right, a legitimate, talented celebrity. I think that legitimacy was critical because it gets them into rooms that they were unable to get into before. After nearly seven years of marriage and four children together, Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from Kanye West last year in February. They're in the middle of what is now one of the most intense divorces I think we've seen in a while. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's parenting issues making headlines. They share four children. She has been dating SNL star Pete Davidson. Kanye has used every form of social media to dog Kim, her family, her, you know, choice of boyfriend. He has a music video where he appears to bury Pete. And it's just interesting to see how a flame can burn so bright, but it can tear down everything as it's blown out. Was it difficult because of how Kanye became so public? How have you been able to navigate that? You want to take the high road, and sometimes it's hard. But I think that at the end of the day, everyone has their own way of communicating. And I, I've always been like a champion of him speaking his truth, and I would always want that. And how do you talk to your children about it? I'm really open and honest with them. You know, the, the younger ones don't understand as much, but as far as with my two older ones, they know what's going on, and you have to just really be there for them no matter what, even in this crazy life that we live. You just have to have a really open dialogue with your children. Kanye and I have had conversations we have to talk daily for the kids, so, you know, I hate that it had to play out like that, but when it comes to family, I mean, Kanye and I will always be family. At the end of the day, I just want my kids to be happy and healthy and think the world of their dad, and they do. The Kardashian sisters' romantic relationships have long been central to the intrigue around their lives. The good news is there's been absolutely no shortage of content for the Kardashians in the last year. So we have had very recently the news that Tristan Thompson fathered a baby with another woman while he was dating Chloe. Kylie recently had her second child with Travis Scott. The men in the Kardashians' lives, what is it that you all are looking for? I think at the end of the day, all of us just aspire to have like blissfulness. We want to be happy and we want to feel safe. Tristan, so what is it about him with you? With Tristan, I did feel incredibly safe in the beginning and I felt really good for a time. I remember when he cheated on me right before I gave birth and I was able to still have him in the delivery room. And so, yes, it might have looked strange to the outside world, but when my daughter watches my home videos of it, those videos are gonna be as pure and perfect as I was able to make them. I still think he's a great guy and he's a great dad. He's just not the guy for me. So who is in the best place right now when it comes to being in a relationship? I think all my family members besides me. <laughs> I think Court and Trav are an amazing place. He was your friend, Travis, and yeah. now you all can't keep your hands off of one another. Yeah, it's so funny when we think about, like, this is us. Can you believe it? We're like Courtney and Travis, who are friends. I felt like deep down, we looked into each other's eyes and, like, you know, made it physical that it would just be over. 
the couple recently making headlines, hours after Travis's Grammy performance when they visited a Las Vegas wedding chapel. But Courtney's saying today it was just for practice and no marriage license was signed. I think like any good story, they managed to keep providing new storylines. Kim has found new love. Pete's great. Pete's great. He's a, a really nice guy. He just makes her laugh, and she laughs all the time. Where do you see this going? I mean, I am a, like, relationship kind of girl, for sure. And I wouldn't be with someone if I didn't plan on spending a lot of my time with them. Obviously, I want to take my time, but I'm very happy and very content. And it's such a good feeling just to be at peace.